Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see third-year quarterback Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans as they take on Phillip Rivers and the LA Chargers. With that, let's get out to Dignity Health Sports Park in Southern California as we welcome in our guy, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, I tell you, tough to top our assignment this afternoon under clear blue skies in Southern California at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Houston Texans and the Los Angeles Chargers. From up top, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles Davis, as always, with me as well. And CD, defenses better be on their toes in this one because we got two quarterbacks who love to throw the football, and they throw it very well. Over 4,000 yards each in the previous season. So what you're saying is, if you're a defender, hope you're prepared properly. Hydrated, stretched, be on your toes, as you said, because the ball's coming your way. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. This fielded at the two. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Texans Let's offense go, go. heading out, and it's Deshaun Watson leading the way, the third-year man out of Clemson. Last year, 26 touchdowns, nine interceptions, but the big number for the Texans, he was sacked a league-high 62 times. They'll try to do better in this one. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards that time. This is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss. But with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. And he'll find QT on the right side complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen. And they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Watson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. Fourth down, so the Texans dial up the number of their second-year punter, Trevor Daniel. Deep for the Chargers, Desmond King. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Phillip Rivers ready to go under center for the Los Angeles Chargers. And Phillip will be 38 in December, but you wouldn't know that if you looked at week one when he defeated the Indianapolis Colts. 
333 yards, three touchdowns, another very good game from him. He's got to keep playing. He's got those nine mouths to feed with the children. I mean, he's got a full baseball squad. But the best part is his enthusiasm for the game. That has never waned. He loves everything about it, including training camp. This guy just likes being around his team, loves leading them. And how about the Chargers breaking out the gate 1-0, which is a big deal because normally they start slow and finish strong. Maybe now they can put a full season together. And if that's the case, look out, AFC. They'll come on second and six now from the 24. Now a carry by the third-year man. This is Austin Eckler. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. What a great surprise Austin Eckler has turned out to be. That's the kid that was undrafted out of Western State, signed with the Chargers in 2017, and then last season, 554 yards at 5.2 yards per carry, and then he was also effective catching the football. 39 receptions, over 400 yards there. A great compliment to Melvin Gordon. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Williams. That throw good for four. It's second down. And a look now at the defense for Houston. Many times as we open a game, we talk about guys who are drafted in the first round, but how about the undrafted players? In this case, safety to Sean Gibson, who's made the most of his time in the NFL, becoming a starter in the league, and since 2012, has 20 interceptions, the most for undrafted players in that time frame. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Let's go, you tighten up. Rivers and his throw is going to be incomplete he was looking for his tight end Hunter Henry and it's third down you and I watched film yesterday and you told me to watch his feet work. for whatever reason his footwork just looked off on that throw and you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics right well, but you're good at it well I, I try all right I don't know how good I am but it doesn't take much to tell his mechanics are off a little bit exactly what you described footwork that led to the incompletion and now the third down throw incomplete as well and third down is a key down in any game you play and third down defense something we've got to watch in this one got to be effective on the passing downs that's a pretty good first step right there on is the chargers punter now deandre carter is deep for the texans So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And now out comes Houston. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. On first and 10, Watson. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. The first carry now. This is Johnson. And oh, Johnson dinged up a bit. Still down. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. Second and eight, Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. First 
One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Back to throw, Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top. That is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 39 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Still no Melvin Gordon, of course. Possibly won't see him until November. But Austin Eckler, he held his own, didn't he? He certainly did. 154 yards of total offense. Three touchdowns, including the game winner in overtime. And not only did he hold his own, but he got the attention of Melvin Gordon, who took to social media after the game to let him know he was watching and enjoying. And what did he say on social media? Eating. Which means that Austin Eckler was eating up the ground and the touchdowns. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. From the gun, Rivers. It's complete right side to Benjamin. And he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. That was a really nice job there, stretching zone coverage by running that route deep enough before breaking it back towards the sideline and being open. And a precise throw for the reception of the first. A first red zone opportunity here for the Chargers. It's first and 10 at the 14. Rivers, he leaves to Eckler on the draw. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. I brought 80. Let him know, let him know. Mike 41, we've got a 
legs down, huh? Hey, hey. You ain't doing nothing today. Delay of game, offense. And that'll set him back five. Still second down. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. They go play action. Rivers to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Check, check, boy, three. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Try to punch it in with Eckler. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. On second and goal, Rivers toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Allen that time, but now it's third and goal. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Third down and goal now, and this Houston defense not backing down. They'll look for one more stop. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. Taylor hit. He lost the football. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. 20. 10. 5. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Set to take over again to Sean Watson and this Texans offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. To throw is Watson, rolling to his right. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. 158 left to play until we hit halftime.
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. No one attempted or made more field goals than Fairbairn last year. He was 37 of 42. And they were grateful for every one of those that put three points on the board. But I guarantee you, Bill O'Brien, the head coach, is thinking to himself, we need to use them a lot less in 2019. Let's make sure we score some more touchdowns. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find the matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Mike Williams, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. But with that incompletion, I want to get some early season predictions from you because I love to do that, and I like to hold <laughs> you to what you say yes. later in the year. How about MVP and Defensive Player of the Year predictions from you, Mr. Davis? Well, it could be the same person if I chose Aaron Donald, couldn't it? Because the last couple of years, he's been the defensive player of the year in the NFL and made a strong case to be the MVP overall even though he hasn't won those but here's what I'm going to do Patrick Mahomes won it last year through 50 touchdown passes he could easily throw 40 touchdown passes and people call it an off year but it'll still be enough for him to be the MVP I think this kid is just special I think he wins it for the second straight year and then on the defensive side I'm going with a major surprise the Tennessee Titans could be a top five defense Kevin Byard, safety, signed a new contract. He will play and justify that with 10 interceptions. I like it, and I won't forget it. We will revisit this. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Rivers. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. I like the occasional incompletion because I can go back and ask you more things. So we talked about MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. How about Offensive and Defensive Rookies of the Year that you see, Charles? Well, it usually goes to a quarterback or a runner, right? And in this case, I'm going to go with the quarterback because he got the ball from game one. That's Kyler Murray. He's going to put up big numbers in that offense. And I thought he looked pretty good in the first game against Detroit. On the defensive side, Devin Bush, the linebacker from Pittsburgh, got acclimated so early, and that defense is going to be good as the season goes along. I like him, but I'm going to give you a dark horse. Okay. His name is Chase Winovich, the rookie out of Michigan playing in New England system. I think he'll make a lot of plays. Well, a couple of Michigan guys that you're giving the hat tip to there. Rivers to throw it. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 34-yard line. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot 
and they connected there and picked up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. And they move this all the way down to the nine. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0 as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Black 11! Brown! And Hunt! Get that quarterback, D-line! And Hunt! From the 30 on second down, Rivers, Benjamin's got it. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Third and four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. From the gun, Rivers. Allen has it, left side. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. From the red zone now, Rivers. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, Zach Cunningham, there defensively to make that play. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one. 
and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Texans' offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him with contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that <laughs> helped him with contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. From the gun, here's Watson. And this one grabbed by Darren Fells. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Johnson. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. On second and inches, Watson, screen play, Johnson. 16 yards, a first down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
when you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. zone down. Watson rolling to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. They get 10 more there and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Joey Bosa with the tackle for loss. How about that pedigree in his family? Yeah, some good pedigree. Tell us about it, Mr. Davis. Dad played in the NFL, first-round draft pick. Uncle was a first-round draft pick. He's got a brother coming behind him. But Joey Bosa, guy plays really, really hard and plays all aspects on defense. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They're going to need some therapy after this. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Here's Watson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Coaches always tell their players someone's got to make a big play, but what they mean is a game-altering play a game-changing play, a turnover force, and we just got that. I mean, how about that play, Brandon? Yeah, a pick six, fourth quarter, that is a game-changer. Someone read their keys, and someone had the courage to go after the ball right then and there. And it gives them the lead. Badgley on for the extra point. at 14-10. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly but they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right? they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play too. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, 
you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. In 2018, Deshaun Watson had five fourth-quarter comebacks. Only Drew Brees of the Saints had more with six. Now it's Watson. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. From the 50, it's Watson. Over the middle, it's Fells. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Watson now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Faking the give. Now Watson. Throw left side complete. It's Fuller. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Watson now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Slot. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That's Thomas Davis on the sack. Came in the league way back in 2005. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Throw left side complete to QT. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Out of the gun. Watson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's four. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. Down four late, got to go for it here on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. 
And after the early struggles, we've seen the uptick in his numbers. Do you think maybe it was a meeting on the sideline to say, hey, get me the ball. I'm a key part of this offense. Those guys don't wait to get to the sidelines. They say it in the huddle on every snap, get them the ball. But I think what happens is, similar to a great running back, have some patience, have some confidence, and just know that over the course of a game, your talents are going to win out. You're going to find a way to make plays. And I think that's what we're seeing here. He's finally figured out some things they're doing to him on defense, and he's adjusted accordingly. Step 180! 180! Check, check, check 41. All day, baby, all day! Once more, here's Eckler. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. On third down, here's Eckler. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. On is the Chargers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Watson and the Texans now. Down 14-10. A minute 36 to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Watson. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there, a 22. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Fuller brings it in over the middle. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. Now Watson. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 22-yard line. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you've got to get up there and spike it. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. How many people watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game deciding score. Although, a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Just a four-play drive that time, and the result, a Houston touchdown.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Back to throw. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And a timeout is called. So now you're looking at probably just one final play from back in their own territory, and they're going to need a miracle. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Single, single. I got 86. I got 86. He's back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And they will set up shop at their own 41 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Well, partner, even though my phone alarm failed me this morning and I missed our AM workout, we still made it through this thing together, didn't we? Well, you always know I need extra workouts just to keep oh, up come with you. On. So it doesn't matter, but thanks for sharing a booth and thanks for being our quarterback. Yeah, you're the quarterback. Always a pleasure, my friend. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Southern California, so long, everybody.